everybody. It's Michelle and I've got a springtime punch art project for you guys today that's a lot of fun. We're going to be doing a caterpillar and of course that's going to be all circles and it's super simple and I'm going to use this little butterfly here that I cut out of glitter paper just for the antenna and I'll save the wings for another project and I thought I would also do some of the body segments glittery also. So I've got some glitter foam here and I bought that in a packet. I think it was from Dollar General. They come in five and a half by eight and a half sheets and it's got multiple colors in there. It came in red, pink, green, and blue. And I'm going to do part of the body segments in that and part in just a limey green solid color cardstock. And I've got some little googly eyes here, about three sixteenths of an inch. So for the body segments, I'm going to use my half inch circle and I want seven of those. So I'm going to do four in the glitter and three in the solid cardstock. Now for the head, I'm going to want that just slightly larger, so I'm using my confetti circles punch here. And I like this size here, it's just slightly larger than the half inch body segments. It's about 5 eighths, and I like to just stick the corner down in there so that I miss most of those holes. Because I don't want to punch out a bunch that I'm not going to use. So now I'm going to cut the body segment out of my butterfly here. And I'm being careful to save those wings because I may want to use those on another project. So that just leaves the body of the butterfly there that's going to be the antenna of our caterpillar. And if you want to, just look for something with little scrolls and swirls on it in your dies or punches or maybe some of your leafy dies and punches or branchy ones or something like that may have a little section that's going to work right for you there. In this case, the butterfly worked out really good and I'm going to start putting my caterpillar together. So first of all, I'm just going to lay it out for a dry run to see how I like the layout. And the larger one there for the head. And with all these little pieces, it's best to lay it out first. That way you don't have it glued together and decide in the long run that you don't like the layout. So I want my caterpillar kind of curving like he's crawling along. And you know what? I punched out the wrong size circle, actually. This one here up toward the end is the one that I meant to use which is the 5 eighths. Just barely, barely bigger than our body segments. But the first thing I want to do before I glue it all together is just put the antenna on the back of the head piece. That way I know that I'm getting those positioned the way I want as well. So once I've got that where I want it, I'm going to take some purple tape, and this is really, really low tack, and it won't damage the front of my caterpillar at all. And now I can get my art glitter glue up underneath each one, and fold it back where it goes. So now I'm just going to press everything down and I can wipe off all my excess glue when I'm done. And I'm going to give it a few seconds just to dry slightly. And now I'm going to turn it back over and just peel it back slowly. I like to do that part when it's still slightly wet. 
that way I can still manipulate it a little bit if I'm not completely satisfied with the positioning. And I think I like it like that. I'm ready to put the eyes on. Just a tiny little touch. And I'm using the pointed tip of my die release tool to get in there in those tiny places and wipe away that excess glue before it dries. And you could leave him right like that if you wanted to. I think that's adorable. But I want to put a little mouth on him with a little smile on his face. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the template of a smaller circle. And I can just go right along that curve. And that makes the perfect little smile. I think that is so cute. These would be good to put on cards or scrapbook pages or anything that sort of has a springtime theme to it. He would also make a good little bookworm, maybe for a reading book themed type of thing. So I hope you guys liked it. It was super simple and I love creating something fun with just basic simple shapes. This little guy was so much fun and I intend to do more little critters. I love doing little critters in punch art probably more than anything. I hope you guys liked it too. Leave a comment below and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram, and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have all of those listed in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.